Hello and welcome to my capstone symposium presentation. My name is Hannah Lester and the title of my poster is Toilet Talk, How Replacing Toilets Can Increase Sustainability, Equity and Quality of Life. For my capstone, I worked with Seattle Public Utilities and analyzed their low income water conservation programs. These programs aid low income customers and save water by replacing old and inefficient toilets in low income homes with newer and more efficient models. The purpose of this study was to, to determine the remaining water conservation and bill reduction potential of these programs and to explore alternative program pathways that might increase this potential. My primary research questions were, what is the remaining potential of these programs? What is the level of program participant satisfaction? And how should the future of low income conservation look like? My primary methods included determining the categorization and distribution of low income households in Seattle, projecting the water conservation and bill reduction potential of the current program scope using a computer model, conducting a telephone survey of program participants in order to determine program satisfaction and researching potential program alterations and estimating the conservation potential of these changes. Looking over at my results section for that first research question regarding the remaining potential, these charts indicate the single family opportunity and multi family opportunity of these programs. As seen in figure two, about 22% of single family and 30% of multifamily low income households have been served by these programs. Looking at program satisfaction, key findings include 100% reported that the new toilet works better than the old one, 100% reported they would recommend the service, and 88% reported that they are very satisfied with the new toilet. Finally, looking at the future of water conservation, um, these estimates were projected using our program computer model. Um, and these programs are able to project the CCF or centim cubic feet of water conservation across the next approximately 30 years. One centim cubic feet is about um, 750 gallons of water. Program alterations we explored included installing kitchen aerators in multifamily homes, installing toilet monitors with new construction, re-replacing toilets in multifamily, and including single-family renters within our program eligibility. And as you can see, each of these alterations have varying levels of water conservation over the next 30 years. Looking over at our key takeaways, um, our Key takeaway for that first question was that there is still a significant level of water conservation and bill reduction potential within the current scope of these programs. Over at our program satisfaction bullet, we can see that these programs have the potential to significantly increase the quality of living for participants, specifically participants who are elderly or disabled. Although those specific takeaways are not reflected in our results, um, this takeaway came from my conversations that I was able to have over the phone with program participants. Um, a lot of participants, specifically those who are elderly or live with a disability, shared with me that their old toilets were not accessible, they were broken, difficult to use, and could result in injury. Um, and often the users would need assistance in order to use this toilet. Um, so although the stated purpose of these programs are to save money and water, a uh, sort of side effect of these programs are increasing quality of living for program participants who do not have the financial resources to replace a dangerous toilet. And then our third takeaway, there are several program alterations which could increase the water conservation and bill reduction potential of these programs, such as expanding program qualifications and replacing additional fixtures as seen in figure three. Looking at the broader significance of these findings, these results are important because they present an opportunity for utility companies to increase both system sustainability and economic equity within their communities. Climate change is going to threaten the longevity of natural resources such as water, and the communities that will be most impacted are disenfranchised communities such as those living within a low income bracket. So as um, the government starts to consider how to best conserve these resources, creating programs that not only consider economic equity, but actively promote economic equity can help mitigate the impacts of climate change while also strengthening um, equity and environmental justice within their communities. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I would like to thank my site supervisors, Melissa Lebo and Miley Jose. Um, I'd also like to thank Kelly O'Rourke and Anna Dyer at SPU, um, as well as Diana Canzarani from the City Demographer's Office. Um, additionally, I'd like to thank my um, faculty advisor, David Layton, my capstone peers, and my family for their help and support with this project. Thank you so much.